identity providers are critical infrastructure that we depend on for managing our identities and access to our apps and services, and now they are increasingly under attack. Let's look at an example of a user impersonation attack that can negate protections in downstream apps to see how malicious actors, like Lapsus, are exploiting the trust relationships between identity providers and downstream apps to access their target's sensitive resources. We start with Jake, the SDR. He wants to avoid making mistakes in his emails to prospects, so he gets approval to create a Grammarly account. He reaches out to the overworked Julia over at IT, who tries to save time by making Jake an app admin in Okta so that he can add Grammarly himself. Jake, the SDR, is now an app admin and gets himself set up on Grammarly. All is well and good. That is, until a tempting offer from Lapsus comes along for Jake to rent out his credentials for promises of extra cash. This is a real offer sent out by the hacking group to gain a foothold in the target's identity infrastructure. Once the hackers from Lapsus have control of Jake's identity, they move quickly towards setting up their next payday. The first thing that they notice is that Jake is an admin. They then jump over to see the apps available in Jake's company, trying to find their fastest route to pay dirt. They see that he has access to AWS, where they can cause all kinds of havoc in the environments there, as well as the Office apps, where they can access email and sensitive documents. Then bingo, they find Mesh. The Lapsus crew wants to log in and create a virtual card that will allow them to buy some crypto on their target's dime. So they use Jake's access to add him to the list of approved users alongside the CEO and CFO. Then, still as Jake, they go into Mesh's sign-in settings in Okta to do some editing, exploiting a common misconfiguration that will allow Jake's identity to log in as Joe, the CFO. They change the sign-in format from email to custom and set it to show the email of Joe. So now, when the attackers use Jake's Okta access to log in, Mesh sees the sign-in as being Joe. Now as Joe, the attackers go on to create a new virtual card. They realize, though, that they need a second person to approve the creation of the card. Thankfully, they can also impersonate Jill, the CEO, which they go on to easily do. Now, logged in as Jill, they quickly approve the card, which is now visible in Mesh. They can now see all the card details and steal the company's money. Now that we see how easy this kind of attack can be, let's take a look at how Authomize's Identity Threat Detection and Response platform can help this company to avoid damages. With full coverage across all cloud and IAM infrastructure, Authomize can detect posture risks that can leave an organization open to attacks, as well as detect active threats that may indicate that an attack may be underway. We see a few of them here on our dashboard. The first alert we are going to see is that there is a misconfiguration in Okta for Mesh that leaves Jill the CEO's identity there vulnerable to user impersonation. Among our alerts, we see that privileged users like Jake and Jill do not have MFA enabled. Finally, we get our alerts that first Joe, the CFO's user, is being impersonated by Jake, then Jill's. With these alerts, security teams have the contextual identity activity info to investigate and quickly work to limit the damage. To learn more about protecting your organization from identity-based attacks, please contact us for a free assessment of your cloud and IAM infrastructure or visit us at www.authomize.com.